As multitasking becomes more ingrained in our culture, our hands get fuller and our minds become more cluttered with thoughts and things we need to do. And while there isn't an app to make us less busy per se, there are apps that help us take care of those issues surrounded when you know multitasking involves texting into your phone and turning your thoughts into words. Um, the iPhone does have an app that allows you to, you know, that, that enables voice recognition so that you can make commands like calling a person or playing music, but it does not have anything that enables you to turn your voice into text. So two of the hottest dictation apps out there that enable voice recognition are Dragon Dictation and Vlingo, and they both, you know, enable you to turn your voice into text and, in some cases, to use your voice to make commands through your phone. So let's check them out. Dragon Dictation is the simpler of the two apps. All you have to do, as it says, is tap and dictate. Hello, how are you? As you can see, it's pretty accurate, very instantaneous, very simple to do. And, you know, if for some reason there's a glitch or you need to add something using a keyboard, you know, for instance, like punctuation, you can do that with your, with your keyboard. And you can even, you know, record further if you'd like to add more to the message and it'll just continue the stream. Furthermore, you can email, text, or copy to the clipboard so that you can paste it into any other application. And what's cool is if you have Pastebot, which is an app, app I reviewed you know, a, a little while ago, this becomes an especially awesome app because everything you ever dictate in here is automatically saved into Pastebot and you have it forever. However, these are basically all the functions you can do with, with this app. So you do have to put a little bit more effort into, you know, updating your statuses on Twitter and Facebook, for example, um, you know, or things like that. But the simplicity is quite refreshing. Blingo, on the other hand, is not so much about the actual dictation as what you can do with it. You know, for instance, you can do Facebook up dates, you know, email and SMS texting, but these are paid. You have to pay extra for them on top of the free app. Um, but aside from that, you can also use your voice to find things on maps, do social updates on Facebook and any other accounts that you add to this app, conduct web searches and call people. So, you know, very, very similar to what's already in the iPhone, but with the added element of dictation. So again, like Dragon Dictation, you just press and speak. Hello, how are you? And it, it also has a pretty accurate um, recognition, although if you do not say a command before, you know, for instance, status update or um, call this, it will automatically conduct a search, as you can see. So let's try it again. My status update. My name is Allison. So this is how it goes when you have a status update, but as you can see, it's a little less accurate than Dragon Dictation. I said my name is Allison and it, my status is now I am out. And so there are some glitches, but overall it's really cool that you can link to so many things. And you also get a full keyboard when you need it, you know, for your status updates, etc. In short, these both of these apps make typing on your iPhone a lot easier, um, you know, and make you know make using your phone when you have other stuff to do a lot easier as well. One thing you do have to keep in mind when using both of these apps is that they're not perfect. So you have to make sure to speak clearly and hold the phone close to you because otherwise you'll have you know a lot of accuracy issues. Uh, what I found using these apps is that Dragon Dictation tends to be more accurate as its voice recognition software is a little bit more advanced, but uh, Vlingo has, you know, you can do a lot more in terms of doing things with, you know, your talking and making commands. So it's really up to you which app is best for you. Ultimately, it comes down to what do you want to do with your words. For more apps and reviews for the iPad, iPod Touch, and iPhone, check out iPhoneApplicationList.com.